That's nice. And you are all set. You're good. Good, e good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Environmental Quality Commission. It's our regular meeting of Thursday, July 15, 2021, beginning at 6.30 p.m. Um, let's, let's, let's rock and roll. It's time. It's, it's extravaganza week. Let's do roll call first. Roll call first. <laughs> Commissioner Bonkel? Here. Commissioner Sirio? Here. Commissioner Trombetta? Here. Chairperson Foley? I'm here. Thank you. Councillor Minor? Here. And I was going to say, I see him. <laughs> and you have a quorum. We have quorum. Okay. The, um, today is the 15th, right? Okay, so if you would um, join with me in the Pledge of Allegiance, whether you can stand or, or sit, whichever is the easiest. And here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual. For justice, and justice for all. Okay. The one thing is, if we're not talking, maybe we should make sure we're, um, what do you call it? Uh, muted, and so if we have a lot of background noise, maybe you don't, and that would be fine, but we want just to keep the background noise down, that would be helpful. Uh, we have now uh, our meeting minutes approval from June 17, 2021, special meeting minutes. Um, let's see, uh, do we have any, well, first, can I get a motion, uh, or do we have anybody who has any comments? Do I get a motion to... Um, approve them as submitted or do we have any changes? Yes, Joyce, please go ahead. Yes, several, I don't know, I guess they're typos, I'm not sure. All right, but one at a time. You want please. me to go through them? Yes, please. Okay, under 6A, Two major requirements. Yeah. Well, I guess that's okay. And then it says um, a couple lines below that are needed for bronze and our points. What? What? what what's the correction? What's what's the error? And what's the correction? Where it says are needed for bronze and this point will show will fall short of it. I think it should be our points. Oh, you are? Yes. Okay. Very good. Anything and, else? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yep. A couple lines down. Needed to dedicate to pro need, needed to dedicate to process maybe more than a volunteer group is capable of commit commenting commenting capable of okay so we got a typo there so okay. what should that be capable of okay completing maybe maybe completing all right i don't have it in, i don't have the copy in front of me so i'm um volunteer group is capable of completing i think is what Oh, wait a minute. We got it on screen. It makes it really easy. Hang on one second. So, um, uh, where are we? Commenting. Um, needed to dedicate a process that be more than a volunteer group is capable of commenting. Completing? Maybe he means completing? <laughs> Mm 
committing. Committing. Commit. Commit. Yes, yeah, C-O-M-M-I-T-T-I-N-G. Okay, I got it. Because it's okay, a lot. Okay, and then and then under um, C, the upcycling contest. Say that again. Under where? C. Letter C, oh. upcycling. Okay, go ahead. Commissioner Bonkle said that overall she was pleased. Just change the, the to the that. Oh, the should be that. Yeah. Got it. I, I missed that one completely. Both of them. And then on the second page. Next page, okay. Under under D. Say again. Today she has not received a response from form. Not a form. form. Should be from. And then that same paragraph. Hold on, hold on. That's letter D. Yep, got it. In that same paragraph, the last line, anything regarding her, not regrading, regarding her email. Regard. Yep, typos. Okay, that's right. But we need to make note of it so no one down the road when they read it go, what does this mean? Go ahead. And then under nine. Nine. Okay, yep, got it. Last, last line, Councillor Pedreco commended Bonko on her efforts throughout the contest. So thought, UG, thought out should be throughout. Okay, good, perfect. That's all, that's all I got. Good catch, thank you very much, Joyce. Um, all right, so we have a motion to um, accept the minutes and now with the uh, proposed changes, anybody have anything else to add to that? So can I get, um, so the motion's on the floor, we seconded, we discussed, we added, so we can have a vote. Um, uh, everybody in favor? Yes. Aye. Right. Yes. Joe, are you waving at me? Okay, okay, so it's unanimous. Thank you so much. Okay, so we finished number four, number five, approval. Okay, and this thing, do we have any changes? Oh, we, this is a special meeting, I'm sorry. So we can't actually um, change the agenda. When we're, we're in special mode, this is just an FYI for everyone. Um, we can't add anything to the agenda. Um, or whatever. So what's on the agenda we deal with. Uh, when we're in a regular meeting, we could actually change the order, add something, subtract something. I just want everybody to realize that. Okay. And uh, James, do we have somebody and anybody in part public participation? No participants on with us this evening. Okay. Yeah, because they're all in the park. Yep. <laughs> Getting muddy shoes. Okie dokie. All business. Okay. Sustainable Connecticut. Okay. So number seven. I was hoping Renata would be here. Uh, we had a meeting with um, the mayor, the town manager, but he was only on for part of it. He was having internet problems. Uh, the superintendent of schools, the deputy mayor, Gail, and I think that was it. And so we met, um, and Renata and myself. So we met and um, had a discussion about where the difficulties have been for the last month about, which we just kind of read here about the amount of time dedicated. And they asked if we knew of, and we had the name of, of a person who could maybe be like a consultant and uh, I, I think we have an answer, but nothing yet um, that, that I'm aware of. Um, I don't think an outsider would have as easy a time trying to figure out what to do. So um, 
we did look for a couple items and figure out what, what they need to do and we'll work forward um, on that. And uh, yes, it appears they, they'd like to get this thing done. Um, there was some, uh, we made some corrections and people to make sure that they understood about this because it seems like there was a misconception. They thought this was a state of Connecticut thing and it's really not. It's a sustainable Connecticut is the name of the group. Nonprofit, separate, not a state agency. So, and it's voluntary. You don't have to do it. So, um, which we all know. But anyway, so that uh, the meeting was um, last Thursday, and uh, we seem to get a, a decent understanding, and we're going to work on it going forward, um, and go from there. So, there could be some good, but both were not a, a, a who's um, a one hand one arm paper hanger as a town planner, and uh, myself. There's only so much time that we can actually do that, and with all of you, right? We're and if we don't get the ability to have people respond to, so we could get the work done, then it's not going to happen. So. Um, they have to come up with a, a little better format of how this will work. So we shall see that and I'll report back when I hear some more information. Um, next item. Oh, I didn't look up um, our Facebook page uh, to see where it was, but I did get, um, maybe I'll have to look that up. Uh, but we did get a couple more people. Uh, whenever you're at our Facebook page, whether you're at the page or the group, consider inviting your friends and have them like it because that will help get the word out. Um, and that's all I really have to say. I want to thank um, Karen and Joyce. They put up a bunch of stuff for the la in the last month, which had to do with the upcycling contest. Um, Joyce, I received your um, uh, emails with the pictures. So I just haven't had a chance to actually set them down and schedule them out. So they'll come up every month and there'll be a new picture and something about upcycling and being um, is, is an opportunity before we get to recycling because we're upcycling and we're reusing and that how good that is for the environment. So we'll have that, that method. How's that? Sounds good. Okie dokie. So thank you for forwarding those. Um, okay, Joyce, uh, and it, just give us a wrap up because woohoo, did a good job. Okay, um, the award ceremony was held at the town council chambers on June 28th. And thanks to James, it was on Zoom. And thanks, thanks to Patty and CPTV, it was filmed. Each person who submitted a project received a certificate thanking them for their participation and for making Newington a better place to live. Two winner certificates as well as $100 gift certificates were awarded with credit given to Mill Arrow Solutions for donating the $200. And a story about the contest and the winners appeared in the rare reminder. And just for the record, I'd like to thank all the uh, EQC members for their help with um, their ideas and suggestions. And I'd like to thank um, Scott Hoagland from the IT department who helped me initially setting up the website information. And a tremendous thank you to James because without his help, I would not have been able to put on the contest. And the PDF files of all the projects James will have on the town website. And for those of you who are curious, the three judges were Mark Sims, Gail, and Karen. I'm working and with Patty to get the um, certification paperwork filled out so we can get credit for the upcycling contest. I filled out the event template form, but I can't find a form to fill out for the equity seminar and other seminars that I attended. All right, we'll, we'll, and we'll, I've, got we'll problem, get. I've got a problem that needs to be solved. 
And that is the four foot by eight foot poster that was up next to C CVS. It's presently in my garage and I guarantee it will get wrecked there in my garage. I asked Bill, um, the PNR fellow, if he could store it somewhere for me, but he said he didn't have any space for it. And so the question remains, where can this poster be stored? Did I lose you all? I got you. I got you covered. We can actually store it in the town hall. Um, we have, a, we have, you know, because the thing is what? Barely a, a half an inch thick, a quarter inch thick. Yeah. All right. We have space that we're where we store our posters for NTTV. And that means it will be indoors and it will be, you know, in a heated space and it won't have, um, we won't have any difficulty. Great. Great. Okay. Patty, I'm happy to take that and store it in the vault for you if you'd like. I do have upper storage on the shelving. Oh, in the vault. Oh, okay. We'll 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 take a look at either or. Yep. Okay, it's, that's super. Okay, we've got vault here. Hold on. I'm gonna make the note. A U L T. It's that precious. Okay. A after the meeting, Joyce, you and I can figure out a date and time because then I can arrange for you to get in. Okay, arrange, so we'll figure that out. For, to arrange for what? I didn't hear it. To get into, um, um, well, when and how to get into town hall and how to get the item from your house to the town hall. Oh, okay. So um, and then another after, question. After, after the meeting. Okay. Because so, we don't. And then another that. question. That's another the question. question. Another question is, um, do we want to have the contest again next year? And if so, it was brought up that some high school students are required to upcycle an item and we should have a co um, contest division for them. I thought about this and um, the Given the contact information for their that teacher, I could just give them the application link on the town website, and right. they could, and they Good. could enter. There's nothing stopping any student from entering the contest. I think a better division might be senior. Many well, seniors don't have use of table saws and drills, et cetera, et cetera. So having a senior division, I think, will level playing field, playing field for them. Well, make a suggestion as to, you've got two sections of um, right now, which is, you know, people, and then we'll have a special section just for students, and let's make up a few rules and we can kick it about. I think that's a great idea. So I guess yeah. we have to... I don't know. Can you two people see me? And then, and, and then on top of it all, one, I want to make sure when we pass something through to um, uh, the school district, we need to make sure we follow chain of command. So um, Dr. Brumette is very helpful and we want to make sure that we do that properly so that we can expand our, our scope of working with into the school system, okay? Okay, I just need the, you know, the contact information, but we, I mean, we've got to decide, our, I guess we should vote, are we going to have the contest again next year? I think so. We've done all the work and now it's just adding a section to it that could be really geared to um, a student. So come up with no, the rules. No, 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 Patty, you're missing the point. No, I'm not. Yes, we have. All I need is contact information and students can be in the contest. They could fill out the application online just like anybody else. So that's not the issue. The issue yes. is do we, have, do we have another division for seniors? Yes, I think you should have another division. Personally, I do. Okay, so somebody's got to make a motion, number one, about having the contest. Well, no. Well, no. Um, well, you want to make that decision tonight? 
Well, you can't do it because we don't have the motion on the thing. So we'd have to bring it up in the next meeting. Okay. Okay. So motion to have, did I got to put it on the um, agenda for next time? Motion to have uh, upcycling contest next year. And then also should be, do we want a division for seniors? Well, let's let's go slow. I mean, if we we don't that does, that's not important in the motion at this moment. We're going to have a contest, and then we will then come up with any additional sections, classifications, and so forth. Because I think putting together some information, um, and then having all of us look at that would be a smart thing. But I think, but, I think you're making it. I think you're making it more complicated than it is. This is what we have to do. Okay. So we're gonna we'll have it on the agenda. We'll vote on it. In the meantime, if we, we want to make a change to the format, then have it ready and then we can look at it. Okay. That's what we did. That's or we should do. Okay. Whatever. All right. So we'll be on for the agenda for August. Okay. Cool. Um Great, Joyce, I, I personally want to say that you put in tremendous work and thoughtfulness about all the aspects of doing this upcycling contest. And I want to just say for heartfelt, um, thank you. Brilliant work. Uh, and it, hey, first year is always tough. And after that, who knows? You could end up with 140 entries, who knows? That will, that will be um, a, a deal we'll have to deal with. Let's let's go forward. Congratulations and I thank think you. Very much. During the um, award ceremony, some of the people were saying, "Oh, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do for my entry for next year." And you know what? That's how we feed the interest. So thank you very much. And we're going to now be able to show every month and we're going to start putting it in front of people. So it's not something that's all of a sudden April. Oh, maybe I could do something. So if someone wants to work on a larger project or a more whatever they can and putting it out there is how we do it. So that's going to be excellent. Thank you so much. Um, do we have anything more? Sorry, okay. I just wanted to add yep. as well to say thank you to Joyce and uh, congratulations on the award ceremony. I wasn't able to attend, but I was so happy to be able to listen to the recording. So thank you for recording it, MCTV. And it was an excellent, excellent um, celebration. So great job preparing that, presenting that. Uh, thank you, James. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Joyce. I, I think that was wonderful to have that recording as well um, to celebrate all, all of the work everyone did. So thank you. Perfect. Yes, Joe, go ahead. You have to unmute yourself. Hit the space bar and hold it. Nope, you're still. Can you hear me now? Now we can hear you. Go ahead, Joe. No, I, just want, I just want to say thank you for the contest. I'm sorry I couldn't make because I was working that night, but everyone said oh, you did a great job. And uh, it, it, it was, I hear, I hear it, was, it was a great, it was a lot of fun. Everyone had, had a good time. Excellent. And uh, I want to get, uh, say also thank you to James because um, he helped out too. In oh yeah, thank you, James. In the um, getting that room set up so we could do that. All right, let's move on. James, James, yes, James please. was on vacation that night. I had the award ceremony, and he was there doing all the technical things and. That's what James does when he's on vacation. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. All right. Um, letter D. Okay, we still have, um, there's four of us. If we have a fifth person and if someone happens to be absent because that happens occasionally, we can still have quorum. Quorum for this commission 
being seven members, is four people. So we always need all four, the four of us in order to have that. I want you to really scan your um, friends list and so forth and find and think, see if you know someone in town who would be interested in joining us. Um, and then make a recommendation, call me up and we'll, we'll figure out how to get them on the, um, uh, on the commission. So that would um, allow us to make sure that we can always have meetings as long as we have four people showing up. Um, no more news on that. And in the last month, I have not talked with anybody from the Girl Scout troops, so I've got to take some time and just follow up. That's another PJ. Um, I have nothing else to report there. And then we have letter F. Okay, so we have a school poster. Okay, and that's for the fall. Um, I'm going to float that through to Mich um, Superintendent Dr. Brumet and make sure that it's, it's a go. The kids are back to school full time. Um, that I believe if I, well, and, and it's, it's floating. I think all the children are required to report to their schools. So I don't think they're doing much in the way of distance learning at this point. Um, there seems to be quite a thing that changes from week to week about different things that are needing. Um, and I'm glad that our um, school district and the board of education have to be that fluid in order to make sure that they're going to bring the kids back to school. And I want to say it's about the 26th of August, plus or minus. Um, and therefore, I would like once they get back in September, we will have a note from them, Dr. Vermette saying, yes, no problem. They'll put it together. We send them really the updated school poster contest form which I'm gonna dig out for Karen, I apologize. Uh, and then the only thing that we'll need to add is whether you wanna do a poster or an essay, right? Do we still wanna keep the essay involved? That was a question. Yes, I was trying to unmute. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. I, I love the idea of the essay and I, I think that's a great uh, addition. Okay, so, and I think, um, I think Joyce and I spoke about it just briefly, but we should keep uh, the school poster contest was not for this, well, they were really school children. Um, can be open and you're graded or you're competing against people in your own class. So second graders are competing with second graders and et cetera. And I probably should be the same for the essay contest. All right, so I'm going to make up a mock-up and send it to you, Karen, so that you can take a look at it. And I'll send it out to everybody. Your two cents is, is um, uh, needed um, to see if there's anything that, you know, when you work on something, sometimes you can't edit yourself very well. So um, I'll, I'll edit it so that it will have the current year's dates, what we do, and any um, things we could have that all wrapped up in August and be ready to send the, the uh, what we did in the past, just so you, you know, is that we brought one copy to um, the administration and they made copies and got through the schools and put them in the kids stuff so they took them home. And at that point back in those days, before the year before COVID, we had, um, and thanks to the people uh, who were on this commission who started this, um, they had close to 180 posters submitted, just posters. So let's hope that we can do that. Okay. So I, I know what I have to pull out is to just, um, I will give you a draft of what it is, and then we could all edit. Editing is a lot more fun than drafting at times. And I look forward to hearing back from everyone. The only other thing I want to add, Patty, is uh, if, if we can stick with the theme, um, if possible, um, restore our earth was the theme. Yes, 
that's going to be this. It, it's not going to be Earth Day. It's going to be Restore Our Earth. Great. Thank you. Yes, no problem. Why not? Because we need to do that. As individuals, as the way we live, if we're going to live in a sustainable behavior, we need to do that. We got to bring our earth back. Thank you. Shane. Oh, yes. Hang on a second because I need to just bring this down. Um, let me just get out of this for a second. Uh, Okay, hang on. Okay, I had asked um, Rob about textile recycling because the pink bag people are what we call simple recycling, which was the pickup on the same day we had recycling picked up and they had stopped in COVID. Um, he says they will be making changes to the services in the near future. And once he's aware, he'll let us know. And so I said, well, that's fine. But um, I sent him a, a suggestion that he should send out an announcement that while pink bag, the, the, the simple recycling isn't happening at this moment, that where people can drop off their bag, either at the transfer station on Saturday and Sunday and 24 seven at the senior center, there's a box outside the door, which you can put that stuff in. And he goes, oh, good idea. So hopefully that will be going out shortly. He also had, um, let me just go here. Oh, where is it? Nope, that's not it. Um, I thought I had it open, excuse me, sorry. Uh, nope. Well, in general, his report was um, the mattress recycling is still going. People are bringing this stuff to the um, transfer station. Um, I asked him for some numbers on um, some re re recycling and garbage so we know where we stand as of June 30th, which is the close of the town's fiscal year. And of course, um, the close of the budget and the new budget begun began on July 1st, 6.30. Um, so uh, those, those numbers were not yet available. So um, as soon as, hopefully they'll be available shortly and we'll be able to tell um, everyone. And so that's pretty much what he had to say. He couldn't be with us this evening, something came up. Um, there's that, oh, now I need to get back in Zoom here. That's all I have for Rob's report. Um, I have nothing to report education, communications on, um, those things, does anybody have a specific item? If not, we'll move ahead. Did anybody show up, Mr. James? No, unfortunately, nobody with us and uh, no Renata either. Uh, well, we just cannot compete with extravaganza. I guess not. No, I don't think so. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Maybe we could on. add fireworks to the screen. We might get them to come along. Well, hey, I can. I, I've got. I've got video. I got tons of video <laughs> of fireworks. <laughs> All righty. Uh, well, you know what? You got to be there doing what we're doing, and eventually you'll start get, catching on. Uh, let's see. That's next. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start at the bottom. Joe, any any additional comments? Uh, like I said, I, I think we're moving along. Uh, we're moving along okay, as good as we could, you know, considering the summer. I think we we still just got to keep, um, you know, continue to work at it and just keep everybody updated on everything. Thank you. Thank you. And now, Miss Karen. 
I just wanted to thank you for having that meeting uh, to try to get some additional support from the town itself, um, from um, the staff, and uh, look forward to hearing more about that. Yeah, thank you. And Ms. Joyce. I'm looking forward to the results of um, what that meeting will mean in as far as certification and sustainability certification. So do you know, Patty, how, how soon we might hear? Well, the earl one of the earliest things I asked was, um, was putting, um, uh, if we got information that was more positive than what we received to date on um, getting somebody to really help run the show, I mean, let's be honest, it takes, I was spending 10, 10 hours easily a week on it. And that was becoming quite a burden, uh, especially when you weren't getting after. So um, uh, very simply, as soon as we have more, can we have some information as soon as the end of this month? Maybe. And if not, maybe in August. Because um, we were waiting to get some information about a consultant who might be able to help. Oops. So we shall find out if that's something we can actually get our hands on. And if that's the case, when can they start and when can we do this? In the meantime, the earth is still waiting for us to help. <laughs> and uh, we have very concerned people here that sit on this commission. Thank you very much for your efforts and so forth. Um, I do have one comment for me, and it's kind of more so on the side for Karen. Karen, um, when they changed the, um, which you had done that lovely list of condo situ situations, and part of that has to do with they all have managers who generally don't live here. Um, have we or can we put together something about the mattress recycling? Sure, I can follow up with Rob. He probably already has something and I can just send it to, yeah, to, copy to the list. Yeah, you send it out to that particular group. And I think sure. that's really important. And then we can make a splash about it um, because they have kind of a buffer um, as as residents and citizens of Newington, but they have a management company that takes care of a lot of stuff. And that's how some of that information may get filtered or not filtered for them to receive. Um, so when we have certain things that are um, happening, either you know, from Rob from sanitation department, um, we should probably follow up with sending them a little blast. I mean, could that be five times a year if we're lucky? But that might, you know, raise some interest. You never know. Look at you and I are condo people, aren't we? Okay. Um, but I want to, once again, thank you, everyone. Oh, yes, Joyce, go ahead. I, con I contacted the um, sustainable CT people because I want to know the form to use for a tent to get cert certification points for attending seminars and no one has gotten back to me with an answer. Of course not, because I, I have it. It's in the it's in the document. I just haven't had a chance to look it up. No, you said you said that it was under action and I looked under actions That's, and there's no form. Present. There's no form That's, there. Well no it's not gonna the form is not gonna be there. You're gonna find it under the action, which is one of the items that is on that 25 page list. I just have. To, I know yeah, I we're. Did. I went. I went. Oh, I couldn't find any form. I couldn't find any form. There is. I, I. I know it. So don't worry. I will get it. You have the information, and I have that on my open list because I want to make sure that that is. Um, what do you call it? Oh, we write it up. Okay, so you could send me over the the form. Yeah, or you. Uh, I'll find out what it what we need and then you send it and we fill it in on the paperwork and we would then find out what do we need as backup for it if we need any backup all right i, just, okay. I haven't had a choice i just haven't had a chance um, um but i will i will get to that because i know that's what you need okay um 
seminar attended. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I appreciate you attending. Would you care to share with anybody um, in two minutes or less of what the seminar was about? Well, one was the um, equity seminar. So I, I contacted them and um, then I attended a few other environmental seminars. I think there were probably three. So there's, I mean, I don't know how many points we get for the seminars, but um, I, the, the problem was what form do I fill out? Do I, do I, credit do I, for, okay, Chris, my question is pick a seminar. Do you want to tell everybody what you learned? I don't have the data. I don't have the information in front of me, Patty. Okay. But there, there wasn't there wasn't one. I attended probably three different ones. And I have the time, date, and place, and all of those in in an, in another folder. But okay. I would I would assume okay. that the form questions. All right, the form know, will be sent to you, Joyce. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's super. Do we have anything else? No, nope. uh, James. Um, no staff here. Okay. Would you like me to discuss a little bit on meetings and in person? Yes. Go or ahead. I there's, been, there's been some changes I heard. There have, and um, so it'll really depend on you guys how you're going to go forward, uh, Patty. I'm not expecting that you're going to be coming out of the house for a little while. So I would assume that you guys will be in a hybrid virtual format. So the question is, do you want to meet in council chambers or meet in the upper conference rooms? I don't know. Where are they going to, do they all have recordings and do they all work? They, well, they, they work. They're just not connected to you guys yet. <laughs> that's, that's the trick. Um, so we end up having to do the same setup that we've done for council and board of ed, which is pick up the signal, transfer it to you or supply you with the recording. And are you still sending it to Zoom? Oh, yes. The Zoom, it goes directly to. We'll still keep that format going up because we do have a recording requirement that we have to have it on our website within seven days and up on it for at least 45 days and accessibility and actually now downloadability or receipt if a member of the public wants a copy of it. So that I think will become more of an internal policy more than an external because then we have to get a specialized account for YouTube and we're not going that route. Well, we, yeah, well, we always have all that stuff available. Exactly. But we've been NCTV and not we, not this commission, but NCTV has been doing that for 30 years. Right. Um, oh. With getting it up there and so forth and so on, even though we were, you know, separate. Right. That's okay. So there could be an in-person. There could be a hybrid. Or an if it becomes necessary, as we're doing right now, you could still stay as virtual as well until everybody's available. We can do it any of those three ways under the new public act. And we have through April 30th of 2022 to operate in that fashion. April 30th, that's the, that's the die date, right? That's the die date. And then by that point, the government accountability office will actually have a report back on the best way to implement and go forward with um, the hybrid format of virtual meetings. Okay, because the in-person is one thing, and that's what we used to do, period. Correct. And, we, and in the past, the only, um, the town had a audio recording and NCTV did the audio video recording. That is correct. Now, with all the things that have changed in the last 18 months of everyone's lives, um, we have gone solely Zoom. That is correct. And now we're going the opportunity to go back to in-person, yet since the last 18 months have been interesting, the meeting might need to be in person, and we we're talking hybrid meeting, it would have some technical component for someone who could not be in the room. That is correct. And that, yeah. with That's most commissions, I'm suggesting that they have a full quorum of members in the room for you guys. You only have four right now, and I know you're not coming out right now, Patty. So we're not going to be at that point. We don't know that yet. 
<laughs> so in that aspect, we wouldn't be able to follow the hybrid in-person meeting setup. We'd be in primarily a virtual meeting setup because the entire forum would be online. Okay. All right. So now, we're going to work on, we gotta, I got to start doing more exercise. <laughs> What is the April 30th, 2022 deadline? What does that mean? That specifically is when a report of multi-agencies, they'll have the attorneys on it. They'll have um, most likely membership from uh, the town clerks association, um, local uh, town managers and administrators to be able to discuss how to effectively keep the same process going. Sort of the in-person meetings with the hybrid format to allow for more public input and accessibility. So that's, that's the whole point of it. In the beginning, they're giving us the ability to do whatever we want. If we just do in person, we still have to record it, but we have seven days to put it online. We're not gonna change our policies as we have them now. We're already recording and putting directly online to YouTube as we're meeting right now. So that doesn't make any, any sense to go back and change all that. And, and revamp the system that's already working. All of those meetings are now accessible for the public. Same for our meeting right now. If they wanna come in, they can. Now, the one limitation that we run into as a full virtual meeting is if a member of the public, at least 24 hours prior to this meeting, has asked for a location and a device to be able to attend your meeting, we have to supply that. And that's one of the main reasons that I've made the suggestion that as part of going back in person, a quorum's in that room, we're not required at that point to provide that service. So it takes a little bit of a stress off the town of having to find a location, especially when we're not meeting in person, but we may have to put a person into a room, still have another staff member there to manage the device, take the device back at the end of the meeting, make sure it doesn't walk out the building, those type of things. So it, it's a fun process. We're still waiting for a little bit more direction. The FOI was nice enough to do a quick primer on regular meetings, special meetings, emergency meetings. Um, one thing that will be slightly different is um, votes. And this will be for you, Patty. Uh, okay. I and heard something it, about this last night at PPZ, so please. Right. And, and this will also address it to membership as well. If And it may be just somebody indicating ahead of time that they're not in favor of something, which will save some time. Correct. Because we're in a virtual format, we have the opportunity in a normal meeting, if it's a unanimous vote, to take it simply by voice. If somebody dissents in that vote, then you have to change over to a roll call vote for that entire item. Right, so but if, if, if I knew as, as the person, let's say running this meeting, yep. that um, there was someone who would be dissenting or abstaining. You could jump right into it, exactly. You could no, jump right into a roll call vote and not roll, have to. Right, okay, yes. so roll call, is really necessary when we have an abstention or a dissension. Correct. If you do not have a unanimous vote on that item, that's when you'll go to that roll call. Okay. So therefore, at the beginning, when we voted on our minutes, yep. since we had nobody saying, no, I won't vote, or I was not here and I abstained. Correct. That, uh, we could what we did tonight was perfect. That was perfect. And if, if somebody had said, uh, no, I wasn't at that meeting, I can't vote on that, that's where I would have jumped in and said, okay, we're going to have to do a roll call no vote. Problem. And I would have done the, the numbering for you. Right. Because now we have to talk about who said what, because um, not everybody knows all our voices, even if the little box is kind of highlighted. Correct. And then there's one single piece that will come to that, and that'll be for Rob, and I can address that with him as well, is if... We're, if we're holding a hybrid meeting, we have to indicate now how each member is present. So you may have some that say in person and you may have some that say by Zoom or, or virtually. So with Correct. that now a requirement. Now we just case. say it's been a Zoom meeting so that everybody's there because that's what all we have. Correct. 
once we make a transition, then we will have the opportunity um, that we have to say, okay, so I would say members present via Zoom, members present in person. Correct. That's what we'd have on our, reflected in our minutes to indicate that. Exactly. Yep. Well, I haven't seen the minutes look like that yet. Okay. Correct. I have a question for names. Go ahead. What's the difference? What's the difference between Zoom and virtual? Well, no, you'd be in an in-person format or you'd be in a, in a virtual or Zoom format. So if so virtual, it, and Zoom, virtual and Zoom are the same. Yes, they are the same. Some we, we call our Zoom, but some people will use Microsoft Teams. Some will use Google Meet, but it's it's a virtual meeting format to allow for the meetings to take place. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any well, other questions? That, that's good news. I, I was I saw some of that um, or, or heard some of that last night on the TPZ meeting. So. Oh, at the end point, yes. Yeah. Wanted to make sure that they were aware, and I've had those multiple conversations with Renata as well, because she's got to make sure she's got her public hearing notices going out properly and noticing that meeting correctly. So. Yep. That's yeah. I know it's all about. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, that's um. That's all I have, and um, and thank you for filling that in. And what do we have after that? Next meeting. Thursday the 12th. So um, hopefully we will have some more information on the things that you have questioned. Let's keep our fingers all set and that will look great. Um, and we'll be moving along. And lastly, I'd like to entertain, go ahead, a motion for adjournment. You're muted, please. I need a first. I make a motion to adjourn. Thank you, second. I second it. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joyce. And are we all in agreement? Yes. Okay. Unanimous. Yeah, I, I've never heard that kind of a motion where we somebody want to stay longer. <laughs> um, I want to wish you all a wonderful night. Um, enjoy extravaganza. If you get to go over there, think of me, eat a corn dog or have some fun. There's all kinds of stuff. I hear there's more food trucks than there were last year and more rides. So uh, that's all I have. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. You helped me get through some dark days. Our pleasure, Patty. Adjournment was at 7.22, Thank just you. for the record. Yes, I got it. All righty. Thank you and be well. You be well as well. I Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.